Hello, traders. I greet you all. My name is Samuel. Analyzing the forest from the land of the rising sun. Um, I greet you all. If this is the first time you are watching my video, please like, share, subscribe, share with your friends, share on social medias so that somebody else who needs the service can get it. You know, it is free. So if you get it, share with others. That's the, that's the only thing you can do for me is to share the video for me. I think I'm giving you a very, very good and much benefit and value. So at least share it with others. Okay. Remember, there are, there are scammers roaming around the internet trying to deceive people. Those who will come and say that they met so so and so, they, they, that they have been trading and losing and losing until they met Mr. or Mrs. XYZ. Since then, they have met so so and so, Bitcoin, so so and so amount. My friend, Trading is not easy. It requires skill, and you have to be patient and learn the skills. If they are making that money, they will look for somebody they will tell. So that's the simple truth. If you follow them and begin to comment and talk with them, they will lure you. They will lure you into their scam site and scam you. If you are willing to learn how to trade, how to analyze like me, you will see my links on this bio of the on the description of the video, my Telegram link, my WhatsApp link. Even my personal phone number is there. You contact me and I tell you what to do. I'll teach you. And now I have time to teach. So it will be it will be good if you join my team now that I have time to teach. So just you know is to trade to, to, to make money trade is it, not easy. It requires skill. But once you have learned how to do it, nobody nobody will take it away from you. So let's let's dive into the business of the day. DXY. DSY, um, you know my stand on DSY. I say that we will likely have a, an expanding flat as we have see. We, we, we already have an, a, an a expanding flat as we have be. So we'll see we likely go up to this zone. But before then, we will just begin to go, we need to go from here, from here to here. I think it will not. At a at a point, it will correct so, something like this before this before this. So that's my my view on DSY. So let's go down to four hours. Four hours. So you can see the the pay is making uh uh what we call ending diagonal. So now the question is, the question is. The diagonal where we need to terminate, we need to go higher. We need to do something like this and go higher again. I don't know, but once this channel is broken, I will sell. That's why I do this. Okay. So if you sell from here, it's good, but it, but it is risky because it can keep going and going and going. So it's better to sell when you have a confirmation. So wait for sell setup and sell. That's what I have for DXY. PUSD is always opposed to DXY. Always opposed to DXY. So there's nothing much to explain rather than it is it is, it is also making any any diagonal down here. You can see it. So once the channel is broken, it's time to buy. So once we get uh maybe it will go down again. Do this, do this, then it's buy. So I don't know what to explain again on this one. I think, not, I think nothing to explain on, on, on this one because what's happening on what's happening on DSY is happening opposite below you know, USD. You can see this structure seems to be opposite of that very one you saw on the DSY. So that's it. I'm looking for buy on Euro USD. USD card. USD card. What do we have? Uh, let's see daily. USD card is buying now. Okay. Now, uh, this is one, two. Okay, let, let, let me label it. This is uh, one, two, two, three. For five. So this is the first impulse.
So now what are we what are we expecting is again is A B C. So to me, okay, let, let's get it to four hours. Having gotten five waves, we expect three waves correction, which to me is what we uh, that's what we are seeing now. So to me, this is with A. Uh, A, B, C. Then before by so to me, I would like to see to see the price go up to this zone, then drop before buying. So that's A, B, C, I'm looking at. I don't want to sell from here. Rather, if it goes up to this zone, I will sell again. Then after that, I will look for buy. <laughs> that's for USD card. USD checks. USD checks. Uh, USD checks have been making wonders. <clears throat> Previous weeks, I have expected the price to drop from here, but it didn't drop. Now it is obvious it won't drop again. That is, I mean, I have, I have, I have expected a new low. Something, a new low, but that that new low, I think it won't happen again. So let's go down to four hours. Now, on four hours, you see uh, it is going up. It's a motive wave, but it's not sharp as an impulse wave. So sometimes the market will behave in a strange way. To me, all this will be strange anyway, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, what happens now is that I'm expecting the pair to give me correction. The only way I will trade this pair this time around is if I get a correction. From this low to this high, if I get something like correction towards this zone, or maybe somewhere here, or even somewhere here, between here, between here and here, I begin to look for buy. Right now, no buy, no sell. Meanwhile, I would like to sell, but it will be based on one hour. If I see set it up on one hour, I would like to sell. But right now, no trade on this until I get set it up because it has gone so much, it has bought so much that buying now doesn't make sense. Pounds USD. Pounds USD, what do we have? I think the only only uh, chart that we can make sense of is daily. So daily charts, uh, in my opinion, is selling, and it will likely drop way down to one point one seven, one point one five. This is what I envisage, but meanwhile. Um, we need to get set up before we sell. It has been dropping in a sluggish manner. It didn't give us a sharp move, but it keeps dropping gradually, you can see. It, it didn't give us a sharp move as like an impulse, but it keeps dropping gradually. It's a motive wave. So for now, uh, no trade for now. The trend is, is selling 
but you need to get a move up before you join the sale. You can sell from here and you can buy without the buy setup. So maybe if you can go down to one hour, go to one hour and check buy setup. If you get it, you buy, then you sell again. AUD USD. AUD USD. Uh, let, let me go to daily. AUD USD. Remember last time I said that we are getting new low. So I said maintain we are getting we get new low. So expect 0 0.6311, 0 0.632. Let's go to four hours. Okay, four hours. We can see after this drop, it keeps going up. It went much higher than I expected. But it doesn't matter. This drop has justified the sale we are looking at. So from here, from here itself, uh, unless it goes up and close above this zone. If not, she will sell and give us a new low. I have a, an open order on this one. I have a sell order and I'm not going to close it until it's giving me a new loan. New Zealand USD. The same situation, it is selling. I can only close, I can, I, can I can stop looking about sell until it goes above this place. From here, I won't look for sell again, but as long as it, it is dropping. It is, it is a sell. Let me show you something, something on, on, on one hour. The only thing, the only thing I didn't like on this page is that is the this move that closed above this place. This is the only thing I didn't like in this trading. This sharp move above this place. Meanwhile, let me give you this free lesson. If you get something like this is A, B, C, I'm and it goes above again. Then, then forget about this. For now, I'm still expecting this move. But if we get like one, two, three, A, B, C, and above this place, I will look for sell again. But for now, I'm still looking for sell. I'm still looking for sell. Okay? So that is it. And the selling will give me a new low somewhere here, 0 0.586 or thereabout, before I look for buy again. That's the structure. That's what I saw on the structure. Okay. JP225. JP225. Let's check daily. Last week, I mentioned, I said this last week, that as long as I didn't get to this zone, 3,900 or thereabout, that at least after this, all this move, the question, the the some, some of the give us at least that 8.2 people, but we didn't get there. That I, I'm, I'm not comfortable buying from here, that I, I'm looking for sell. And after that, it dropped and dropped very, very well. So I say it's always wave analysis remains the best approach to trading. Okay. So right now, right now, let me tell you what, uh, what I am expecting on this pair. Something like this. Uh, this move maybe it will do something like this, something like this, A, B, C, then it will drop again. So, from now, I'm looking for uh, what I'm showing you is it, it, not the most, it will happen like this. I, I, I think you know, but oh, uh, that's the structure. This is wave one, wave two, wave three. We're four, we're five. Then after that, we get uh, A, B, 
see. This is just an experience structure. It may not happen like this, but the, the, the conclusion is that it is still selling. I don't want to buy it now until I get a deeper move I have been expecting. So that's for JP225. Hello, JP1. Hello, JP1. It's going sideways for, for two weeks now, sideways. Meanwhile, I don't want to buy, I don't want to sell. I can, okay, this is what I will do on this pair. If it comes to this channel, I will check for sell setup. Then, if it drop here, I look for buy setup. But right now, I don't see buy here, I don't see sell here. USDJPY. USJPY. This looks like an end. Let me check daily. Enter on daily. You can see one, two, three, four, five. And after five waves, something follows. And A, B, C, three waves. It, as simple as that. So going back to four hours. Or let me even go down to one hour. So SJPY have been moving, I don't know. I after this move, this is what I, I expected. After this drop, they give me A, B, C, then sell. But it goes almost, it's it, it almost from where it begins to drop. So, but remember, uh, if this is wave one, wave two can be 99.9% .9 of wave one. So this remains the first move for selling until it goes above this place. If it didn't go above this place, it means this is wave one and this is wave two. Then it, it begins to drop from here. So right now, I don't see reason to, I no sell setup yet. And uh, continue buying this from here doesn't make sense to me. It's like, it's making an ending, ending diagonal once more. If that is the case, uh, if, if that is the case, if that is the case, it means it will still go higher. But the shape is not that of any diagonal. On I mean, yeah. on one hour chart, on four hour chart, it, on four hours, it looks like any, any diagonal. But on one hour, it does not. So let's keep watching whether it will go down from here or make a new high. You can see four hours have, have the shape of any, any, any diagonal. So let's keep watching. Pans JPY. Pans JPY. I think let's go to daily. Pans JPY, I'm expecting it to sell down to this zone. Down to 171, 168, 167 zone. This, this is the zone I'm looking at. Um, the the takeoff doesn't move sharp, but sometimes market will begin to move slowly, and uh, before you know it, it will peak. So the movement is slow. Doesn't mean that it will get to where it is going. We can see this movement looks like uh, correction, but looking at you know that. In wave analysis, higher time frame is superior to lower time frame. So daily time frame is superior to four hours. Four hours is superior to one hour. One hour is superior to, to 15 minutes. That's how we that's how we calculate. So <clears throat> watching this, we may get something like this, something like this, then a sharp move, something like this, then sharp move again, going down. So and uh, you can see all this. And see it a sharp move on lower time frame, but on daily on day on day time frame, it would it would look sharp. So that's why I say that day time frame is where I'm, I'm looking at on pounds JPY. Okay, let's go to gold. Let's go to gold.
good. Just, just a reminder. You know, my bias on good is that good is still going down. At least good will come to 1847 or 1800 or even 1760. Good is still going down. No, no much explanation. But on far worse, it seems to be making uh, triangle formation. A, B, C, D, E. So now the question is, is this one our D? Or will it drop to this zone? If this D drop to this zone, it means it will be somewhere here. If this is the D, maybe the E will be somewhere here. But this is what I prefer. This is what I prefer. Okay, so let's check whether it will happen or not. But as far as this zone is concerned, it is going down. Silver. Silver. I will sell silver if I get this A, B, C. Let me label it. If I get this A, B, C. I will sell from here. Then if it, if it truncates, then I will sell below B. I will sell. See if I still selling. Let me, let me show you the target on daily. See if I were looking at at least 2200 to 2100 is where we are. Here is our target on silver. 2100 to 2200 is our target on silver. Okay. Platinum. Platinum. <clears throat> I know much explanation. Last week I told you it's going down. So now, what do we expect of platinum? I will say platinum if I get this. Remember that I that when, whenever you see this type of thing on my chart, it doesn't mean it must happen. It means that the structure we, we usually see. So I draw this as on anticipation. Because why? This is uh this is one, two, three, four, five. So this seems to be like a then maybe maybe it will come back down to this place and give us with B somewhere here. We have C. That is A, B, C. Then it will go up. That is anticipation. Not the most it will happen. But the issue is that for now, no trade for now. Because it seems it, it will still go down. I cannot buy from here. I cannot sell from here. The structure seems to be, the structure is not, uh, does provide a room for buying or selling right now. So let's go to oil. Oyo. Oyo is, let me check daily. Oyo have gone, have given us a very nice structure with one, with two, with three, with four, with five. And I believe the wave five has completed. Uh, looking at daily, you may not know it's completed, but if you go lower, we see why I say the five is completed. Four hours shows it in a clearer, uh, clearer data. So now to me, this is the first drop. This is with A for me. Let me go to one hour. This is with A for me. You can count it one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. So uh, I already sold oil. I open sell here. But look look at look at this structure. It seems it will go higher. Doesn't matter because here is my stop loss. Okay, so knowing where to knowing where to place stop loss is all, is 
are always very important in a trade. Knowing what to place a stop loss is always important. Okay, so let me label this one. So this is with A. With B, we come so, somewhere here before it begins to drop. Or, or meanwhile, meanwhile, this is not this is not this is not a necessary A B C. This can be with one, with two, with three, for a bigger corrective pattern. Anyway, I can't explain now, but uh let's take it like that. This will be able to be the wave C will drop. So selling waiting for this to happen before you sell will be good, but it may truncate. It may truncate, it may it may move a little higher, then begin to drop, it may truncate. So, but if, if it come, goes below this place, this at 9.28, then it may not go up again. It can it may not go, go down from there. Okay, uh, let's platinum, US 100. Platinum, let me show you daily. Last week, I said, this is with A with B that it is going down. So it is going down, as I said, and it's continue to go down maybe towards 14300, 1400, even 13800. So nothing to explain that it is going down. Let's also check. Check S&P 500. The same situation is going down. S&P 500 is going down. So where do we expect? We expect it to drop to 4266, 4200. Maybe after that, maybe after that, we get another correction. A kind of A B C. Then another big, another uh, A B C again. So we may we may get four T zero zero on the wrong on the long run. So for now, let's keep our eyes on this zone here. For now, this forty two zero forty two forty two sixty forty two zero zero for now. We are starting. We are starting. It's a situation. Let's check daily. Last week I said, is still going down? 33399, 000 is where we are looking at. For US starting, but it will go lower than much lower than that. But for now, let's focus on the immediate target. So, if you open sell on these three pairs last week, don't be in a haste to close them. Don't be in a haste to close them. I sold US starting and US 100 on one of my trading accounts, and the other one I sold SP 500 and US 100. I have some many trading accounts. So I saw three of them, but not all in one account. Okay. Now let me show you something. You, you hear me mention the truncation. This is a, a, a type of, of truncation. This move, the target is between this place. Let me label it. The target is between this place. The target is within this place, but it didn't enter this place. It went down. That's what I mean. I I mean by truncation. It truncated, but I I I I sold here already. I sold from here, going down. So all these things, what we teach you, if you, if you join our class, what you will see, then you you know that the market will likely truncate, so that you. 
have a target, it doesn't mean it must go there. Not a must. So, but when we turn your eyes, you need to see what we, we usually see. Let's go to cryptos because today I'm going some some occasion. I, I, I won't have time to do another video again today. So let me squeeze in cryptos. Generally, generally, cryptos are making sideways. They're making sideways. So you may not get sharp move this year again. You may continue getting all this type of move, all this type of move to the end of the year. Maybe by next year, we get a sharp move. That's what I can see on cryptos. You want to get sharp, sharp move again on cryptos. But what I what I maintain is that I don't see cryptos falling much lower than where they are now. Like Bitcoin going down to 15,000, as, as some, people, some people are saying. I'm, I, I'm, I just laugh, laugh at them because looking look at our, our structure, I don't see the possibility for structure wise anyway. It telling you, you can see this last week. I said, Here is our target. If you haven't come to the target, it can still drop to this target, which means it you can still come down to 1507 and 1400 and uh, 13850. It's still possible to drop to this zone before going up. Let's repeat same thing. They are all showing us the same structure. Let's repeat is. What, what surprised me? I never expected this to drop like this after this move. I think I think I, I, I said it last week. But anything is anything is, is possible in the market. That's why I always encourage people to use stop loss when they are trading. Okay. So let's see what happens next. But going lower, far lower than from here. I don't think it will happen. BNB. They are all going sideways. All of them are going sideways. You can see it's going down gradually. And whenever America is going down gradually, it will make it will make a sudden sharp move up. Yes, yeah, so we keep watching them. Litecoin. Litecoin is there's something that's gonna have is a kind of is making an impulse move right now. So this seems like one, two, three, four, five, then A, B, C, then sharp move. Litecoin may move faster than faster than others in coming week. In coming week, we may get a fast move because this wave is an impulse wave. One, two, three, four, five. So we likely get an A, B, C, A, B, C. Then it, it will move again. So that corner might move sharper, sharper, sharper than other pays. Okay, that's what we are getting at the end of today's video because of time. Uh, I'm going somewhere to brace an occasion. Thank you for, for watching, share with your friends. Remember, we have our links at the this, this, this description of, of this video, our Telegram link, there are two there. They are all free, free. WhatsApp, they are all free, but I am more active on Telegram than, than WhatsApp. A week may go by, I, I, didn't, I don't post any, anything on WhatsApp, but on Telegram, I post all every time. I share three setups on my free channel once in a while. But if you join my students to VIP group, then I'll be sharing three setups. The, 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 the two money you pay to learn. If you, if you if you if you if you already have experience, you will get the money maybe times ten before you graduate from my school. And it means on the on your level, if you, if you're totally new, then I know where to begin to train you. Thank you for watching and God bless you.